Things begin to twinkle, especially around the edges, and slapping bare feet against a shallow puddle acquires irresistible charm. Three floors above a narrow street, the balcony faces a clock tower. The hands of the clock hang like ropes of flesh against the moist pink stone. Voices ascend from below, mixed among taxi bleats and the dark rumble of trucks. Sounds float in the air like steam, combined with the scents of jasmine, diesel fuel, fried fish. One is inclined to sing, if only to watch the multicolored tones tumble out over the railing and swirl across the opalescent night. Lips part, breath fills the lungs. It is more than a song, it is an incantation. Neon snakes pour down the narrow sky, street lamps go nova. Gravity twists and vertical grasps the gut, the heart. There are times when it is most prudent to seek the comfortable safety of darkness. The room is a musty cave, transiently lit by the explosions outdoors. Dark stains bleed down the walls from a high vaulted ceiling. There is a bed, hypersensitive springs vibrating in sympathy with every haunted thought. Panchito sits in a wicker chair beside a battered vanity. His little dwarf legs poke straight out before him and his wide shoulders are wrapped in heavy black wings. Te gusta, he asks. Te gusta? 